and welcome back once again to AR77. In front of us we have the Swiss Arms 1911, the SA 1911 Tactical Rail System Pistol, uh, Tactical Rail System, TRS. Yeah, so this is a, another version of the KWC 1911, a pistol that I very much like and enjoy shooting um, because it was realism. This is the Swiss Arms version, and it's essentially it's essentially a rebranded version of the Remington 1911 tactical version. Where you can see with this rail here at the front is the tactical version or the rail version. So with these, I think you can now get I think you can get the Remington version now, which is essentially the same pistol but with different branding here. You can get the Remington version now, but when I was looking for this, that wasn't out. This was the only version available with the stainless slide they had this one they had the i think there's there's a version of the the sort of world war ii 1911 which is i think they call it the 70s or something like that when it's got this steel this stainless steel slide um and they've also brought out the same sort of version of the pt-92 the taurus pt-92 um, so they've got these faux wooden grips and they've got this stainless slide and then this kind of, I think they call it like a, is it tannerized or something like that finish with this grey, dull sort of grey finish around the, the lower receiver. Quite nice. This is slightly different to what you get in a shop in just only one way. I changed these screws. These screws are usually black, just normal flathead screws. And I just changed them out to these silver ones just because i thought it looked nicer you can disagree with that that's entirely up to you but it belongs to me so i kind of gone with what i thought i've done reviews of essentially i've done a review of this pistol already because it's the same as the remington tack version the, the all black one that i showed you but i will do a walk around just to show you uh, so it's obviously 4.5 millimeter bb shooter powered by co2 and it is a replica of a 1911 type pistol um, on this side you have your skeletonized trigger you've got your slide catch release uh, you've got your well slide catch release and part of that is for the takedown as well you've got a safety catch here let's look at the safety catch uh, so you've got a little red dot there for when we're on fire you can't put this pistol into safe until it's cocked it's how 1911s were designed to be kind of carried um, for combat purposes anyway. Uh, cocked, what do they say? Cocked and locked and ready to rock, I suppose. So once it's once the pistol is cocked, then you can put it on safe and that's how you would carry it. And then you would draw it out of your holster or whatever, pull it out of your holster and disengage the safety and fire the pistol. And that's how it would work. Because uh, there's a lot of safety features on a 1911. So, first of all, you know, you've got your safety. It can't be shot without that because it's single action. You can't, it won't shoot double action. It won't cock the hammer and then release the hammer with one press of the trigger, like some guns. That hammer has to be cocked for you to fire the trigger. And even then, it won't fire on safe. It won't fire and on fire. It won't fire unless you've got the grip safety depressed like that so you need to have your hand up there you need to have that on fire and you need to fire now when it's, when this has got co2 in it obviously this is a blowback pistol so the slide will slide back each time if we can just not lose my camera please we'll slide back each time cocking it again and then it will obviously it's, it's not loaded so it's stuck back it will roll back forward like that and you're cocked and ready for your next shot. Uh, rail, you've got Swiss Arms here. I quite like the Swiss Arms branding. Uh, and it makes it a bit different to my others. TRS there, tactical rail system. Everything's metal apart from the grips. Grips are plastic. Not a bad job of pretend wood. Uh, although you can tell as soon as you touch them, it's just plastic. I think you can get... I think there's a guy on eBay who... Makes real wood grips for these KWC, KWC uh, 1911s. 
Um, so you could look for that. I don't know what it's called. And you've got the slide serrations at the front and rear there. You've got pretty good sights on this. Uh, white dot sights, front and rear. So really nice for sight acquisition. Um, you should be able to aim in a straight line at a tin can with that. Uh, you've got your recessed barrel at the front there. And some kind of pretend. Well, I think they're supposed to look like you can attach a silencer, although I don't know if you can. It does look like it's a threaded barrel though. You might be able to attach a pretend silencer to the front of that for some reason. Um, there's your proper barrel there, your brass barrel. Uh, and it is nice. A nice stainless. Let me just lock that back again. It's a nice stainless finish to the barrel there. Uh, so it does. It looks nice when you can you see it through there yeah nice stainless barrel so air gun caliber 177 got your f there made in taiwan not much else to see on the other side uh let's have a look at why aren't we ah that's why let's have a look at our magazine now then, why won't you release the magazine? Hmm. Something got locked up there. Not sure what got jammed there. Yeah, that was a bit of a roller coaster, wasn't it? That's your magazine, same as all the others. CO2 in there. Allen key in the bottom. Hex key in the bottom. Uh, yeah. BB's going there, I think you'll fit 18 in. Again, really strong spring, but you can. Can I show you that? Yeah, you can just fit them in there. So that'll lock back, um, but you just put it a little bit further and they'll fit in there and slide them down to that end. And then press that and the spring will release. Uh, and that goes back in there. Again, really nice pistol. I really like that. The Swiss Arms 1911. One of the things you can do, if you're interested, is... Uh, oh, I didn't show you the back. So you've got the grippy clipping on the back there, on the back of that grip safety. Yeah. So one of the things you can do, if you're interested, is you can kind of make Frankenstein versions of all of these pistols. You can take the slide off this one and stick it on the Remington. And you can take the barrel out of the Remington and stick it in this one and whatever you want to do. They're all, it's all the same parts. They're all made by KWC. Do we have any? Does it say KWC anywhere here? No, it doesn't on this one. It doesn't on this one, it just says made in Taiwan, but on most of them somewhere, it does say KWC, so. Uh, but yeah, as I say, you can you can chop and change them. So for a while with this one, I thought it looked quite nice to have this kind of metal lower. And then I took this slide off and I put the black slide on from my Remington tack. So it's exactly the same slide, but in black. And I did that because I thought the, the stainless uh, barrel, outer barrel, looked quite nice in contrast to the black. Um, and then I had, obviously, a black pistol with the, a black lower on the Remington with a steel stainless slide on it. So I thought, oh, that looks nice. It just uh, entertained me for a bit and <laughs> then changed them back. But you can do all of that. You can have fun with them. I think you can get a tan version. There's the more traditional version um, with the kind of the extended section here. Uh as they had on the older 1911s. What else? I think I think there's a stainless version for all the Remingtons now. Uh, there's definitely a tan version. There's other versions that are non-blowback, but these are, these are my favourite. You're going to get about 330 feet per second from this. It's accurate enough to shoot a can down, uh, and it'll probably set you back 
I think these cost a little bit more than the black ones. I think just because of the way they're finished. So you can expect to probably pay about 130 to 150 pounds for these, I think, in the UK. But the great pistol is really accurate, really um what's the word? Authentic and great fun if you shoot them safely. Uh, speaking of which, make sure you've got a set of these shooting glasses. Uh, make sure you shoot safely. Those BBs do shoot back. Do ref the uh, they do rebound quite a lot of it. Uh, so you've got to be careful with those. That would be one benefit to pellet pistols. If you if you're worried about that, pellet pistols, the lead is just going to compress as soon as it hits something. Um, so you're going to get less rebound off those. But there's not there's just not the range in the pellet pistols yet, and even with the blowback pellet pistols, you don't get, you know, cut out slides like that. Uh, the blowback doesn't actually affect the function of the gun. It does here. It will cock the hammer uh, and it will lock back uh, after the last shot. Um, because the pellet pistols are just kind of revolvers, essentially. Whether they're belt, belt fed, it's still sort of revolving those pellets round and the other ones even when it's got a stick mag it's it's a little revolving cylinder at the top and bottom of each magazine which i'm sure i'll show you in a, a different video right i'm waffling again please do like please subscribe and let me know how i'm getting on with these videos i've i try to do them in chunks i do a few in a chunk and i stick them on youtube um and i'm doing it mainly just for my own benefit just for a bit of fun but it would be nice to uh, to get some feedback and let me know how you think I'm doing, what you think I could do to improve. All feedback, most welcome. So please give us a like, give us a subscribe, give us a share even. And I'll hopefully speak to you soon. Take care. All the best. Bye.